Good morning, Las Vegas. This is Zandra Pollard with It's Where I Am. Here with um, my guest, Keith Stark and Yashika Nalon. Is that correct? Yes, Nalon McGuire. Okay, speak straight into the mic, sweetie. Nalon McGuire. Okay, thank you. So we have, our topic today is how to be a better communicator in love relationships. And with Valentine's Day just being around the corner, um, we're going to get some advice from our marriage and family counselor, Keith Stark. And we're also going to have some giveaways, some gift giveaways. We have five a $500 value for two parts. Fleming Steakhouse, uh, dinner for two, and also a couple's massage. Um, I got a couple's massage from Thomasina Cotton, and the name of her... Um, place of business is called Touch of Cotton. Oh my God, she found tension in places I didn't even know I had. <laughs> she was all in my neck. I use my neck a lot when I communicate um, because I want to make sure it's just the black in me. So that's something that I do. You know, we learn, I don't know if you know, Yashika, but we learn how to roll that neck yes, and do. those eyes very mm. early. Yes, we do. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so uh, please listen to Keith as he advises us on how to be a better communicator with our loved one. And um, you can possibly win this $500 value to uh, Fleming Steakhouse and that couple's massage by Thomasina Cotton. Um, so we'll start with you. Good morning, Good sir. morning. How you doing? I'm well. So yeah. can you tell me, how can I do better because it ain't working? It ain't working, huh? It ain't working. <laughs> I've been mad for like two weeks. You still mad? Don't stop. Ever? Yes, sir. Oh, God. So, um, with communication, it's really, really important to um, be open. Be open with your spouse or your loved one um, or anybody, right? Um, if you want to communicate, you have to talk. Um, it is okay to say, I'm hurt, I'm sad, I'm mad, um, and talk through that. Um, one thing we do have to understand, I want to get rid of some myths that are out there about communication. Okay. Um, a lot of times you hear people say, uh, men don't communicate or, um, you know, women don't communicate. It's not that we don't communicate, we communicate differently. Differently, right, yes. Right, yes. Exactly. And once we understand how our loved ones communicate, um, then we can understand how to communicate with them, mm. right? And so when you talk about, um, you said you roll your eyes in those nonverbal communications, right? Um, it's also good once you once you learn your who your partner is. It's also good to know what those messages mean. So when right. Zandra rolls her eyes, what does that mean Shut for him? Up. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so what does that do for him? You know. And so you understanding it doesn't what work that, well for him. Exactly. And as much as I try, Keith, like I'll try so hard to get into my communication skills. Right. Right. And then it's just like you know he feels like I'm handling him. Yeah, you know yeah. I'm using. You know, I'm working my kind of, you know, education yeah, on him. He yeah. doesn't like that. Yeah. And when I'm patient, yeah. and I think I'm doing my best, mm -hmm. he'll say, oh, you're mm -hmm. rolling your eyes. And he's like, oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in those times, right, it's best to sit down and have a conversation and learn how to fight fair. Mm. Right? When okay. You, when you don't sit down to fight fair, then both lose. It's like you're playing on the same team, right? I'm a sports guy. So if we're on the same football team and I throw you the ball and you run the ball the opposite way, you scored for the other team. Mm -hmm. And that's not how marriage works. We're on the same team. So when I throw you the ball, that means you catch it and run. Or when you throw the ball, I catch it and run and score the touchdown. Mm -hmm. And so... Well, what if I don't agree? If, if But if With you the, don't agree, that's right. okay. It's okay not to agree, but the same goal is the goal, right? The goal is... I love you and we need to work through this, mm -hmm. right? In my way of communication and in your way of communication. And so if you're, if the goal is not to work through it, then there's something else, right? So that's why you have to fight fair. And what's really important is give the other person the benefit of the doubt, right? If your spouse says or your loved one says, um, you know, uh, I didn't mean it like that, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Or I wasn't striving to hurt you. Right, take that, yeah. you know, take that, hear that, and then and then then run with it. You know what I mean? But don't if you if you say yes, you did, then you didn't give him the benefit of the doubt, and you didn't you, you're not really trusting who he is or who she is. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's really really important. And like when you don't resolve those issues, it's like it'll yeah. it'll come back up. Yeah. So the other day, my husband and I had to go out for a meeting, mm -hmm. and so I threw on a shirt, but you know I was like 45 degrees yesterday morning, right? Yeah. So it was super cold. It was freezing. 
So that was one layer. Yeah. I had another layer and another layer to put right. on, right? Right. right? So he says, are you wearing that to the meeting? <laughs> so I was pissed. Okay. okay. No, cause this is the first layer. <clears throat> so then this morning, I'm getting dressed. He says, are you going to wear that to the meeting? <laughs> now, I went off. Right. I snapped. Right. Right? Automatically, because I was still mad from the comment yesterday. Yes. Yes. We hadn't resolved it. Yes. yes. Right? So immediately I said, oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh. I was still upset about yesterday. I That's thought, good. Okay. That's so you good. caught it. Okay. You caught it. But what's important, right? Um, my wife and I, we, we, we strive to do this on a regular basis. And the, the goal is not to do it in bed because I'll fall asleep. But if <laughs> if we have an issue, if we have a problem, right, we, we go, we, we're supposed to go to the table and sit at the table, put on a pot of coffee, mm -hmm. right? And don't let the, don't go to sleep with it, right? If you go to sleep with it, when you wake up in the morning, it's going to be a lot bigger than what it was last I night. I had all kind of nightmares last night. I was uh, fighting yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you beat him up from this week. <laughs> it wasn't even him. It was somebody else, but I was fighting. <laughs> it was that frustration. <laughs> it was the yes. line, symbolism of who he was, right? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's important to fight fair. When you sit at the table, you talk to each other about, um, you know, whoever's upset, that's the topic you stick with. You don't go to any other topic. Well, you did this, the other. No, right. let's stick with the topic at hand. Don't and go so, to 2006. Yeah, don't go to 2006. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. Right. So, so if you're mad because he didn't take out the trash, let's talk about taking out the trash. And the goal is for him to listen, hear you out, and then come to a resolution. Everything should come to a resolution. Y'all love each other. You have a lot of work to do together, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And so it's important that you work through it. So, okay, so I know the viewers can't see me, yeah. but... You know, the show, you can also catch it on, uh, you can go to my website at itswhereiam.com um, and find all of our shows. It should be up. Frank, my videographer from Biz, The Connection, will have it posted yeah. by the end of the day. <laughs> see, and so you'll be able to catch Frank, it later you see the <laughs> I catch it live. <laughs> so when I'm communicating, I'm trying to sit down because, yeah. you know, he wants my attention, attention yes. right? Yeah. Got to look him straight in the eye. Right? Don't purse my lips. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Don't roll my eyes. Yeah, yeah. So how do I look at him? <laughs> Don't do like, that. What, what do you, I? What's the look? My wife look at me like that. I'm alright. <laughs> my eyes naturally get big. Right, so really? what do I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close them. Close them. Right, okay, no. I'm listening. But you know what? I do have to say this. Um, someone told me years ago, if you have a serious issue with your spouse, one way they communicated with with one another was to give each other a massage and they would talk through it wow. while they were massaging. How are you going to get mad if you're getting a yeah, massage? You're relaxed. You know I mean? you're relaxed. Yeah, you're relaxed. So that. you're like All ready to down. receive. Yeah. So before we go further with that, I do have a special guest who's called in. Uh, my friend, celebrity guest, Chris Spencer oh. is on the line. Oh, Chris. Uh, Chris Spencer is a writer producer and actor and has been in the business for decades. Nice. He is the executive producer of Grownish and Mixedish. And we'd like to welcome Chris on the show. Chris, are you there? Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh. Hi <laughs> Chris. How you doing? I'm fine. I didn't I did not EP Mixedish. I did not make I I did a couple of episodes of Blackish. Oh and I EP Grownish. EP means executive produced. You got to break it down yeah. for us over here. Okay. So if you say mixed dish, it's kind of a lie-ish. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. Thanks for the correction. So what do you do? Because, you know, I have to say, because I talk to people in Las Vegas, and they're like, oh, the comedian that was at the Blue Martini? And it's like, excuse me, this man has been in the business since the 90s. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. Yeah. So what, what are you working on now? Showing, showing ageism on the show. I uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm uh, currently doing a lot of work with uh, Kevin. Mm. I'm producing a lot of television and digital stuff for him. I even here in the trades today. I sold a big movie to Universal uh, with Will Packer uh, as the EP, as executive producer, ladies mm. and gentlemen. And um, that movie. Uh, I, I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys read about it. Okay. It's a big deal. Um, we'll, we'll keep us posted. Uh -huh. Another project with another. I, I'm, I'm I'm hustling. 
I'm working hard. My kids are still in private school for another month. <laughs> so, I know it. you're a busy guy, and I really appreciate you calling in uh, this morning. And I know uh, back when you were at the, in the first season of Black Love on the Oprah uh, Winfrey Network, right? You're, yeah, you yeah, and your yeah. lovely wife. And uh, today's topic here at It's Where I Am is how to be a better communicator in love relationships. Yes, and so I'd just like I'm for you really, to... really, really good. I'm really, really good. You're a great communicator? Oh, the best. Okay, so <laughs> now, what's what's your best way of communicating? Is it just, get, do you give in and let her have her way? And that's because, you know, sometimes you hear happy wife, happy life, so I'm just not going to say nothing. Hmm. She won, or do you kind of, you know, make sure you get your point across as well? It's got to be a combo. Mm-hmm. You have to pick your battles. Mm -hmm. right? That's right. So you still have, she married a man. So you still have to be a man. And every now and then you got to say, no, we ain't doing that. That's about right. 20%. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 80%. Sure, I would love lasagna. Yes. Let's go see that movie. Of course the jacket looks great on me. No, that pants going to make you look fat. But every now and then, you got to be like, baby, your breath stinks. Every now and then when we're arguing about the kids and or we're arguing about, you know, I'm, you know she's telling you she's never late and, and everybody's dressed and she's still getting dressed. you like, you got to address that. Right. So yeah. it's all about figuring out who you're married to and when is the time to put your foot down and when is the time to go, ah, this isn't a battle that I really care about. Right. right. And, and I think a good like cue for me, a good cue for me is that nonverbal, like if I buck my eyes or roll them mm -hmm. or my neck starts moving, then maybe it's not a good time. No. You gotta know those things. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So my thing is, I just gotta, like my thing is, 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 is I'm prompt. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. That's that's why I'm drawing exceptions. There's no giving, like, we're late, I'm mad, I'm pounding, I'm like, let's go. Her thing is cleanliness. Mm -hmm. And I have to let her win on that because I'm, I'm like, sure, we all would like a clean house. Like, we have a maid, she vacuums behind the maid. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> She's anal when it comes to uh, being clean. So uh -huh. that's one, that's her, that, that's her section. So if she's cussing at everybody for the house not being clean, then we all got to fall in line. And when I'm getting mad at everybody for being late, then she has to fall in line. Okay. They have to fall in line. Compromise. There's yes, knowing who each other and who you are, mm -hmm. right who the other so, is, yeah. and, and that makes there sense. Because there's some women who might want you to be 70% in charge, and I'm 30. You know what I mean? It just depends right. on your relationship. Very My true. I'm half Puerto Rican, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I was pulling on you, and I, I, I'd like to talk to you later. I, I'd like some more advice, because this show is fairly new, and I remember you had um, a late-night show called Vibe back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, let's talk later, and you can give me some tips on on how to improve and do better in this realm. Well, I, well, okay. I think you're doing a great job already. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you, sir. Thank you. I mean, you got fabulous guests, like you got me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll help you find some other people. I'm here to help. We've been friends over 25 years, so okay. that's, that's how you win. Is you, communication. You know that's I mean? right. And you know what? I, I don't want to put you on blast, but I do have one more favor. Go ahead. To ask. I want to sit in on a writing session. Everybody does. Oh, uh, well, look, I, I want to do it. I'm doing it. Yeah, you're not, you're not, if you're not in the union and there's a writer's room, you're not allowed to come in there. Oh, no, it's not like a ride along, like in the cop car or anything like that. No, no, you gotta be a cop. You gotta be a cop. Oh, uh, okay. Well, then I'll just if ask you some are questions. If and done in the room, mm -hmm. that could easily be misconstrued, and then you could go, and he was saying the F word, and he called it. And like in the writer's room, it's like a sanctuary, you know what I mean, where a lot of things are said and a lot of things you can get away with, even from the women. Mm -hmm. that outside of that, you'd be like, oh my God, I'm about to meet two of the damn executive producers. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And not only for that, but just also creative reasons, like you right. might come in there. And Other people's energy might affect what the process, right? Or you might
might take it and go do your own show after, after it was something you heard in the room. And put it right on, it's where I am. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, we'll figure something out. Okie dokie, I'm here for you. But I appreciate you so much, sir. Thank you so much for calling in. It's set in Las Vegas straight. With yes. who you are and what you do, I'm so proud yeah, of if you. If you want to find me, don't make me blush. If they want to find me, Instagram is the real Chris Spencer, and uh, Facebook is just Chris Spencer. And if you just got in jail or you're over sixty, MySpace is the <laughs> <person. laughs> When are you coming back out here for a show? Uh, you know, I was just talking to somebody. Uh, I, I will let you know. I'll let your listeners know. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for calling thank you. in. Thank you. It's where Christmas. I am. Dot com. So okay. now, Bye. thank you so much. So now, um, we're gonna have uh, the giveaway in about ten minutes. We have that um, Fleming Steakhouse. Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, valued at two hundred and fifty dollars, but it excludes tax and gratuity. So please <laughs> make sure. <laughs> You have your 18% mm -hmm. before you go in there, minimum, uh, to tip your servers for the wonderful experience that you will have. For two, it's a three-course dinner for two at Fleming's Prime Steakhouse, and it's at the location at the um, town square. And then we also have the uh, free 60-minute couples massage for two. Um, and uh, that will be by Miss Thomasina Cotton, uh, licensed massage therapist. Her email is cotton thomasina l at gmail dot com. I think that I think that's right. I need some glasses, but uh, if that's not correct, just call her. Her number is eight six two two four seven seven nine six one. She will find that stress in your body and make it leave. Yes. Thank you. So now, Yashika. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, before we get back to you, Keith. Because Keith, Keith is the key to winning this valuable prize. Yes. Only one person can win, but there's two giveaways, and that's for dinner for two mm. and a massage for two. That's an amazing day. Yes, so please pay attention to what Keith has to say because I will ask you a question about being a better communicator in a love relationship. And whatever that question is, the caller that calls in with that correct answer will win this wonderful um, giveaway. Mm -hmm. So Yashika, yes. um, let's talk about just the women for a minute. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we're not gonna be one-sided, mm -hmm. but I, <laughs> but I want not. you to talk about uh, the event you had last week yes. that you asked me and one of my previous guests mm -hmm. uh, to attend, which was wonderful. It was called Dirty thank you. Harriet. I want you to tell us about that. Yeah, so uh, thank you for having me today. And uh, so the event was called Dirty Harriet Self-Love, Self-Defense, and uh, um, Self-Awareness. I'm sorry, guys. And the event was uh, something that I had thought about probably about seven years ago. And I was just waiting for the right time, and about a month and a half ago, I decided to just do it. Okay. And uh, the event, I really wanted to focus on women and uh, what we go through on a day-to-day, -day, the different stresses, married women, single women, you know, it doesn't matter if you're gay or straight. And um, I just wanted to give the women an opportunity to sit with a therapist, a spiritual um, guide, guidance person who she's been guiding me for years. And uh, it was amazing. You know, I had someone that spoke um, about self-defense. Um, Dave Roberg was his name. I had Denise Hooks. She was the counselor. And uh, Mia Turner flew in to do the spiritual guidance. Oh, wow. So, you know, we all got in a circle with Denise. Oh, oh please mention oh. the food. Cause oh, was, oh, 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 I'm better. sorry. I can't forget about that. And also, guys, Girl Urban Vegas uh, took care of everything for me. They're amazing. Yes. Been friends with them for a long time. And the food was done by um, Steak It Catering. It was oh, yeah. awesome. Oh, Everything that. was fresh. Food we had good. great fruits. Um, 
We had also had guys. That lemon vinaigrette was Yeah, it was, it was so great. Did you have the wraps? The wraps, uh, yes. The chicken yes. and the vegetable with the avocados and things. Yeah. It was great. And we also had guys mimosas. So mm. there was endless mimosas all day. Uh, just to kind of... That set the mood. <laughs> you know, to set the mood for... <laughs> because we love mimosas for the ladies that do. Right, right. And, you know, we mm. all got in a circle with Denise. She did her workshops. And we were, we was able to really just calm our minds. We did meditation mm -hmm. exercises. A lot of women opened up. You know, we had tears. Mm -hmm. We had laughter. Yeah. We had everything that you needed at that time. And the, our, my spiritual um, advisor, Mia Turner, she did a great workshop. And it was just about pretty much reclaiming your time. Yeah. Oh. And making sure that if we want to change our lives, we have to focus on that change. Right. So um, it was great. You know, thank you to all the women that came out. Zandra, thank you so much Absolutely. for coming out and supporting. For whomever, um, you know, did donations, whatever. You know, I just, I really appreciate it. It was our first event and we'll be doing more. So, yeah. So the so, next one, you're thinking about doing it next month, possibly? I'm or thinking about like May okay. or June because I want to, the first one was done in six weeks. Okay. And I'm sure I was driving Sparkle crazy, but it's okay. <laughs> she knows it's all love. And um, we did it in six weeks. So I just want to make sure that I'm able to plan it um, the way I want to and just to have uh, more things for the women. So, Well, I'm going to recommend oh, yes. Miss Thomasina Cotton. Yes, Miss Thomasina. To get the ladies <laughs> ready and prepared with a few minutes of massage before they yes. start with their therapy. Because I think that's a great way mm -hmm. to... Prepare yourself, yes. right? To get centered, to be mentally ready. Bring the wall down. That's mm -hmm. right. In order to That's repair. right. And because the ladies, I saw you ladies that were late. <laughs> <laughs> and you missed out because you didn't have the same experience. I mean, you. they still got something from it. Yeah. But it wasn't the same because yeah. it was like, you had to be there. Yeah. Like Chris said, on time. On time. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. I think if you started out with, hey, uh, you're going to get a free massage here for about five days. I think they'll be on I time. I think they'll probably be on time. Yeah. So that's a good incentive. Yes. Um, and I will give you Miss Thomasina's card. And Miss Thomasina, if you're listening, I will contact you. <laughs> so let's get back to you because we got about 10, seven minutes, seven minutes. Tell us how <laughs> women such as us that carry so and much and do so much every day mm. for everybody yes, and do Lord. everything mm. <laughs> how we can listen and be even better for our man yes so or you, significant other. right gotcha so earlier you were talking about um the non-verbals right mm. <laughs> earlier you were talking about the non-verbals what's yes. really important right is when you have when you're having this discussion or a discussion or disagreement with your with your spouse it's important that you um don't give any non-verbals while he's talking. For example. Mm. Um, Show me the look. Show right, me the look. Right. So the look, mm -hmm. right? The eyes rolling. The um, you're saying no. Right. Before he could finish or before she could finish talking. What you're doing in your mind is you already, you stopped listening. You weren't mm. listening. And you already have a um, preconceived um, thought before he could even finish. So you never really hear what he's saying. Right. And so sometimes um, our spouses, I know I have one who, my wife is sharp with the tongue. Right? Mm. And sometimes I have to hear what she's saying, not necessarily how she's saying it. We can address that later. Sure. But hear what she says. And so what she is saying, most like 99.9% .9 of the time is very real, valid. And no, I'm going to say 100% because I think she's listening, right? Uh, <laughs> so it, what she is saying is really, really key to what I need to work on, what I need to change, or how I can do things different. And so if we can focus on what they're saying as opposed to how they're saying it, right. then, you know, now I'm not talking about, you know, allow your spouse or your significant other to be abusive or right. cussing you out. You know, I'm talking about when you're working through it and, and maybe um, maybe she's angry and um, how she's saying it is it's kind of harsh, but listen to what she's saying. there yeah. sometimes, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. exactly. So it can come across the emotions the are, are, are yeah. you know. And so do your best to bring the emotion down sure. and hear and listen. And when we do that, we're able to um, uh, be better communicators. We're able to resolve the, the, the issues a lot a lot faster. Um, and it won't linger. So it's just really, really important. Um, so, and, and, you know, everybody has to work on it. I don't care how long, you know, I've been a therapist for a few years now, and um, we don't have it together, mm -hmm. right? right, all the way. It's a it's an ongoing um, 
process, right? And every conversation, every argument don't mean the end, mm. right? Every time you have a disagreement, it don't mean, you know, that y'all can't work together or right. that you, you know, oh, well, the D word comes up. That's what we call it, the Ooh. D word, divorce or separation. Don't you, keep telling me that. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, you, you start believing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right? exactly. And exactly. then you can't grow from that. Right. So you speak it, that's what will become yours. Mm -hmm. Every relationship has struggles. You're not the only, your relationship is not the only one. Yours is unique to you, but other people have been through what you've been through. Mm -hmm. And they've worked through it. And you can work through it. It takes work. Marriage, you know, one thing, marriage is a demotion, right? Mm -hmm. When you get married, mm -hmm. you know, you give up, you're giving up a lot of stuff, right? But it's a demotion for progression, right? It's a demotion for you to grow. Like it's a demotion that. for you to be better um, as individuals and a couple. And so, you know, it's just, it's just, it's work and yeah. everybody can work at it. So being a better communicator means <clears throat> being present, mm. listening, listening, and uh, check your nonverbal cues. Check your nonverbal cues because okay. sometimes those nonverbal cues is what frustrates your spouse the most. Right. right. You, you rolling your eyes, Ms. Zandra, you rolling your eyes and telling them, yeah. you know, you're really communicating a lot. Right. right? And so um, what you're communicating back to someone who's communicating to you um, is really, really key. Well, let me just say I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to work on not Valentine's rolling my Day. eyes. I'll blink. You just blink. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we better get a caller in if you want to win these uh, certificates to Fleming Steakhouse and the Couples Massage. We need you to call 702-647-3688 right now if you'd like to win it. Otherwise... Uh, they can, go I go can I go in the bathroom and make a phone call real quick? <laughs> <laughs> I went through a lot to get this for you guys. I just wanted something special for uh, a couple in Las Vegas for Valentine's Day. Make it sweet, make it nice, um, and work on that communication. So again, the phone number is 702-647-3688. Next caller can be the winner uh, for... Fleming Steakhouse, dinner, three course dinner for two, and a couple's massage. Hmm. All right, no caller yet. You got one. You got three. Uh -oh. oh boy, we got cool. four. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. So the question is just give me the first one. You were listening. Hello, it's Where I Am with Zandra Polar, Keith Stark, and Yaya Nalon. Hello. McGuire. Hello. Yes, how you doing? I'm well. Thank you for listening. Okay. I think I have the answers to the questions. Oh. Um, well, what's the question yeah. first? Because I didn't I get one. <laughs> <laughs> but he has the answer. Let's, get it. Let's see if the answer is correct. But if he yeah, got this what, correct, what's the answer to the two I'll give him an extra three dollars if he got this correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, present, to be present, um, and listen, and nonverbal. And, and to be nonverbal, mm -hmm. no check your nonverbal yeah. communication. Yes. No uh, expressions that will cause someone to shut the other to shut down and not listen. So what was the we, yes. what, was, so, what was the question? We didn't. He formulated his own question. Yeah. yeah okay. But All you right. still won. That's right. right. Because you called because, in first. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> and, and, All right. Okay. So do you do you want to hear the question? Yeah, um, yes. Yeah. So, the question again. What are the, the the two main forms of communication? What are the two main forms of communication? Yes, sir. Oh, that was the question, and I gave you the answer to the question. No, no, no. So I'm waiting for the answer now. It seems oh, like you, you won already. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that that oh, was the that was the question. Uh, we just didn't ask it yet. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I think I think one of is definitely listening. Without passing judgment before you really hear what somebody's saying. But it's verbal and nonverbal, but I need your name so that you can, um, I can leave the... Eugene, uh, Eugene Adams. Congratulations, Eugene Adams. So stay on the line and I'll get on the phone with you because we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, okay. in just about 30 seconds to one minute. Mm -hmm. So Eugene, please hold on the line. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. So, 
I'm here every first Wednesday of the month at 9 a.m. Um, the show is called It's Where I Am. You can catch this show on YouTube or just go straight to my website. There's other shows uh, that are on there. Uh, go to itswhereiam.com. My name is Zandra Polar. Uh, we're here to discuss mental health and wellness. And definitely this was the wellness portion. Yes. Of being uh, an effective, uh, better communicator in love relationships. And I want to thank my guest, Keith Stark. How can people find you, Keith? Um, they can find me on uh, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Instagram is Stark Therapy. Twitter is Stark Therapy LV. And Facebook is just Keith Stark Therapy. Okay. And then, uh, Yaya, yeah, 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 if mm -hmm. people want to know about your next event, how yes. can they find you? You guys can find me on uh, Instagram, Divine Concepts, LV Inc. underscore, um, Divine underscore 78. And my Facebook is Divine Concepts Las Vegas Inc. Along with my full name, Yashika Naylan McGuire. Thank you all for listening. It's where I am, and I'll see you next month, hey. March 3rd at 9 a.m. Yeah.